Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, if I win a motion to suppress, is the case dismissed? A motion to suppress is a defense request for a pretrial evidentiary hearing, asking the court to exclude items of evidence from a trial. If granted, it may, may be dispositive of the case. In other words, if the court rules that the evidence is inadmissible, and if the state needs that evidence in order to prove its case, then the case should be dismissed. Confused? It's okay. I'll give you an example of a dispositive motion, and then I'll give you an example of a non-dispositive motion to suppress. Let's say that I get arrested for DUI. The facts of the case are that I was stopped for weaving on the roadway. When Officer Unfriendly, who's wearing an active body camera, approaches my driver's window, she's struck with an overwhelming odor of alcohol. She also observes bloodshot, watery eyes and detects slurred speech. I foolishly agree to take field sobriety tests, and when I exit my car, I stumble, fall down, and she needed to help me to get back up. I then agreed to take a breath test, and I blew well over the legal limit. In the interim, I was never read my Miranda rights, but while at the police station, she asked me if I had been drinking, and I proceeded to tell her about the party I had just left after having consumed 17 shots of tequila. We could seek to suppress everything, alleging either that the stop itself was illegal or that there was no probable cause for the DUI investigation. Of course, in the example that I just gave you, as the officer actually observed me committing an infraction, the stop was lawful. Further, her observations when she came into contact with me provided her with the requisite reasonable suspicion that she needed in order to conduct a DUI investigation. So that's gonna be a loser too. But were a judge to grant it, in some universe, then everything that happened afterwards would be considered the fruit of the poisonous tree. It would be excluded from evidence, and as the state would then have no case, it would be a dispositive motion. That said, knowing that both the stop and the investigation were legally justified under my fact pattern, if we had a good faith basis upon which to do so, we might seek to exclude either or both the breath test results and or my verbal statements which were unmirandized. If successful, then either or both of those things would be excluded from evidence, but it would not be dispositive of the case. Why? Because the state could still proceed on an impairment theory using the basis for the stop, the officer's observations of my appearance and my abilities, as well as my performance on FSTs. Whether or not that's enough to secure a conviction is gonna be up to a jury. But absent the breath alcohol contact printout and my admission to drinking, the state's gonna have a tougher case than if those things are admitted into evidence. That said, I wanna thank you for your question and let you know that I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.